Hey guys, we're back at Walden. I've just been arrested. Got no money left. I still what we should do is head back out on town. And fight some bad guys because leveling. And also having your attack up for when you need it most is probably the most useful thing you can do. Getting close to being level 6 actually. Close to getting the 30 I need. I'm dead. Yeah. I'm dead. All right. we rule. Now I got my 30 points, so I can actually go back and change it now. I don't keep going back to town, but to be honest, at this point of the game, it's better to be um, safe and sorry. Especially given the fact we're going to do this now. I'm going to do that one or I can do that one. I'm going to do that one actually. And so what we're going to get is another attack. Impede, if you can't afford. Hit one. I'm actually going to equip something else there. So what we've got, augment. For defense, evade, or information. So I'm actually tempted to put defense on Estelle. She always seems to attack us down. She's got a taunt up ability as well. No, fire definitely seems to fit her better. I'm gonna evade or information. I think I'll go for evade. That'll do me. Now I can go on and do what I was going to be doing anyway. 
Three. Pearls on farm. Where's my? I kill this thing as well. To the um, magic silver screens. Chaos brand requires five silver. Blue and silver, blue and gold. Circus made up of Septium, placing all elements to use arts, each quarter's own value, total value determines which arts can be used. Checking all the um, things there. Oh, interesting. You only have to hit one of us, not just um, stealth. alone. Still gonna fly around me. And go after a star because why wouldn't it? 
Let's move out. Getting close to another level, at least. There we are, personal farm. Very nice looking farm. It's got a tractor. It's got some fields with um, some crops in. Oh, no matter when we come here, this place is always so tranquil. It's hard to imagine monsters running amok here. Certainly don't see anything out of the ordinary. Anyway, let's go ask someone. I wonder if Tia's home today. Some greenhouses. Hi, hey, hey to you. It's been a while, hasn't it? Estelle and Joshua too. Did you guys come for a visit? Not exactly. We're actually here on base of business. We heard you've been having some trouble with the monsters. Estelle and Joshua explain why they're here to do the father's work. This is the way. You make sure you're training? That's wonderful news. Maybe you can help after all. So really, are monsters giving you trouble? Regrettably, that's been the case in the past several days now. Thanks to which, I'm suffering a lack of sleep. Which means the monsters only come out at night. Very perceptive, Joshua. It'd be better if you got all the details from my father, though. Imagine you're back delivering the milk and vegetables any time now. Oh, Joshua, Estelle. Hi, Cher. How you been? Were your mum and dad home? Yeah, they came home. Inside right now. Joshua, you can play with me? Wish I had time. I'm afraid we've got some work today. Okay. Yeah, let's head in. Don't know which one's the front door. I'm assuming this one. Oh, good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Purzel. How's everyone getting on these days? What if it isn't Estelle and Joshua? What brings you to our neck of the woods? To come to see Tio? We're actually just chatting with her outside. Tell you the truth, we're here on an errand today for a baser guild. Is that so? Don't you think this job is a little dangerous for just the two of you to handle? I agree, I feel terrible if one of you to get hurt. Don't swear it, we're braces after all. Take care of monsters are right up our alley. The guild even authorises us to carry out this task. If you don't mind leaving it to us, we are more than grateful. Uh, well, alright then. Go have it. Go and have it. Thank you very much, Mr. Personal. Can you tell us a little more about the monsters? I haven't been able to get a clear look at one yet, but they seem to resemble something like a chubby cat. As far as I can tell, three or four appear at night and raid our fields. No one can anything I can get with a good little paws on. They don't seem threatening exactly, they're just extremely nimble. We've tried many times to capture them. No avail. Sounds like a pretty strange bunch of creatures. Since they only appear at night, we'll have to wait for it to get dark. How about taking the load off until then? I should also be joining us for dinner, right? You said a magic word? You bet you will. I'm a huge fan of your cooking, Mrs. Purzel. Can't wait. You should know how to please a woman who spends a lot of time toiling in the kitchen. And with that, I'll whip you up something special to live up to expectations. Oh, that was delicious. Your mum's cooking is as good as ever, Tio. That's because she gets excited to cook when we're with a guest over. I feel really bad for Joshua, though. The little one's just dumping over him like that. It's probably a good thing. It's 
Surprisingly enough, kids tend to latch onto him a lot. If anything, I'm more blown away by the fact that children enjoy playing with such a such a stick in the mud. I guess a bit of an exaggeration, don't ya? It's definitely courteous and maybe even a tad reserved, but you get to know him. He's really a caring young man. The fact that he's not self-conscious about it too gives him points in my book. You really think so? Think about it. Very striking facial features, mysterious amber eyes and lush black hair. It's really natural to be a target for all the young girls. Huh. Is Joshua really that popular? Are you blind, Estelle? Rumour has it, more than a few girls have asked him to go out with him. He would turn them all down, though. I had no idea. Joshua never said a word to me about it. I don't know how I should even begin to describe his secretive nature about hearing this. But how utterly cruel of him not to confide in me. If you were a boy, I imagine it would be a different story, but as a girl, I don't think that's something he would talk to you about. The fact you haven't fallen for him yourself is beyond me. Why would I? Estelle, you in there, aren't you? About time to do our rounds. All right, I'm coming. I'll be back after Joshua and get the job done, Tio. I'll have to continue this conversation then, okay? All right, be careful then. <laughs> that girl. She's either completely out of touch with matters of her heart or just plain dense. Poor Joshua. He really, really has his work cut out for him. Seems as though monsters always show about this time. Better get outside and take a look around. Ugh. What's going on, Estelle? I've got to ask Joshua. You don't happen to have any secrets you're not telling me about, do you? Come on now, where are you coming up with this stuff? Since you come to live with us, we've always done everything together, right? In the event of a fair share of fights, but all good memories now. What I mean to say is I've come to think of you as family, even in every sense of the word. Estelle, if there's anything you've got in mind you'd like to talk about, I'm available to lend an ear. You know, things about, like, trouble with your love life and whatnot. What are you trying to say? Nothing, nothing. I just I just wanted to let you know I'm here to listen to you if you need someone to talk to, that's all. Oh, right, but let's get out there so we kick some monster butt. What kind of nonsense is Tio putting in that girl's head? Secrets, huh? Oh, it's really dark out here in the countryside. So, Joshua, how do you think we should go about making the rounds? Let's see. Can we start by checking out our house first and move on to a field stable and greenhouses? Should we be able to cover the entire farm duck by doing it this way? Alright, let's go. But first of all, I'm going to end the episode and save. Bye bye.